If someone speaks in full sentences, their airway is patent. They have a patent airway. If you're speaking full sentences, again, your airway is open. Now here's, why is there a star on our circulation? Here's why. If you walk up to a patient and you see they have a major bleed externally and they're bleeding out, you need to take care of that life threat first before doing anything else. So you expose your patient, you're going through your station, you expose the patient, major bleed, take care of that first. Then go back to your airway and breathing, okay? That's why the star is here, right? So again, what do I mean by airway? We need to make sure the patient's airway is clear. Speaking of full senses, great. What if they're not? What if they're unresponsive? We have to either do a head tilt chin lift on a medical side or a, draw, a jaw thrust maneuver on a traumatic side to open the airway. Then, once we open the airway, we have to clear the airway. So suction if needed, it could be blood or vomit in the airway, clear it out. Then we gotta keep it open if they're unresponsive, right? So we keep it open with an adjunct, could be an OPA, could be an NPA, right? We wanna keep it open. Then we gotta ventilate our patient, make sure they're breathing, adapt on their breathing, right? So that's see how it all goes together, right? And let's say that patient didn't have any bleeding, you, you would assess obviously how their skin looks, you'd expose the patient, you get a pulse, that's your circulation, right? Now, I wanna give you a few more tips here while I'm here with breathing too. With breathing, look at their chest rise and fall, right? That's a big, huge part. And what is their general respiratory effort, right? Do we hear any abnormal sounds like strider or a wheeze, for example, right? But this is a quick, rapid exam. We can do this very fast. See if we have an airway, assess the chest, how, how does our breathing look, and then expose and look for any major bleeds.